quizzers go into a bar. I'm joking. Four quizzers sit alone at home. <laughs> Hello. I missed you too, but it's OK, because we're back for a new series of Only Connect Quickly. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Paul Taylor, a research assistant with a doctorate in biochemistry who coaches an Oxford College women's rowing crew. Seb Page, a history researcher and whiskey aficionado who once appeared in the national press after he made a controversial discovery about Abraham Lincoln. And their captain, Sam Kay, a chartered accountant and plane spotter who works as an internal auditor for a national airline. They're all graduates of Corpus Christi College, Oxford. They are the corpuscles. Sam, that's an impressive academic pedigree you've got between you. Do you have any gaps in your knowledge? I think art and literature is uh, one area we might, might struggle in today. But other than that, all right? Well, that always comes up. <laughs> <laughs> you will be facing tonight, on my left, Roger Johnson, a retired librarian whose ancestor was the subject of the notorious melodrama The Murder of Mariah Martin and the Red Barn. Jean Upton, a photographer and former yoga instructor who once shared a bottle of Southern Comfort with Janis Joplin. And their captain, Jim Crozier, an amateur dramatics enthusiast whose voice appeared in the Oscar-winning film Shakespeare in Love. They are the proud owners of Tristan, Penny, Benedict and Nicky. They are the cat lovers. I mentioned you were the owners of these animals. Do you think you can really own a cat? <laughs> it is debatable, although I think owned by is probably a more mm. accurate description. I lived with a cat for a bit. It moved in, it moved out. We didn't discuss ownership. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we've changed the format slightly here at Only Connect. It is no longer a direct knockout. Instead, the first rounds involve eight teams, some of whom will win, some of whom will lose, but all of whom will go through. If the winners then win, they become semi-finalists. If they lose, they can play again to win and become semi-finalists. If the losers then win, they can play again to become <laughs> semi-finalists. But if the winners then lose, they'd have to play again. When we have a lot of semi-finalists, they play other semi-finalists to become <laughs> finalists. But in rounds one, two and three, losers play winners, winners play losers, and they're all trying to become semi-finalists. Just to clarify that, here's a diagram. I'm hoping to get my head around that by about week 10. Luckily, the way we play the game has not changed. In round one, I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Cat lovers, you won the toss, but you have elected to put the corpuscles in first. So corpuscles, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Can we have water, please? Kicking off the series with water, I never do. What is the connection between these clues Here's the first. Next. Eyes watching Casey at the bat. Number. A number of something. Do you know what Casey at the bat is? Is that, is that a song or something? I don't think. No, it's a little bit number of people referring to it. Next. 5,000 metres or 10,000 metres? Oh, 5,000. Should we get the next one just in case? or? We think the connection is the number 5,000? I'm afraid that's not the answer, so I'm going to show the fourth clue to the cat lovers for a possible bonus. Yeah. We think the connection is 10,000. I'm afraid it is 10,000. What was your thinking? Well, we think eyes watching Casey at the bat must be a song or something like that with, with 5,000 pairs of eyes, and then obviously Mo Farah won the 5K and the 10Ks. Eyes watching Casey at the bat. Casey at the bat is a poem about baseball. It is 5,000 pairs of eyes, making 10,000 um, eyes. Mo Farah's first Olympic gold was for the 10,000 metres. Cyrus the Younger gathered 10,000 mercenaries for battle and myriad from the Greek myrias, meaning 10,000. Mm -hmm. So very close, but it was a bonus point to the cat lovers who may now choose their own question. Uh, lion, please. Lion. The music question. Oh, joy. You will be shouting <laughs> next when you want to hear the next clue. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's the first. I don't know who that is, and I can't remember their names. Isn't that annoying? Ready for the next? Yeah. Next, please. Okay. Next, please. That's all saints. You're not getting anything, please, do you? Next, please. 
for All Saints and Oasis. Five seconds. <laughs> yes. I can't Brit give you a long pop. time. Sorry? Brit pop act. <laughs> now you know I can't I accept that. You might just as well say they're all songs. Answer, I know. I'm afraid I can't accept it. There's a possible bonus chance for the corpuscles. Just... Some of them were married to each other? Oh, it's sort of. I think somebody from the third piece is married to somebody in the yes. fourth piece, but you could never yes, make a connection is. with all of them. <laughs> the, the bands that we heard from were Monsoon, Lush, All Saints oh, and Oasis. Okay. All bands that share their name with high street retailers. Right, okay. Back to you then, Corpuscles, to pick a hieroglyph. Can we have the twisted flags, please? You certainly may. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Is that a poem? Is that, do you know Next. Are those day Next. In the rain. It's never. It's never. They, they could, I mean, want to get the last one just in case. Yes. Next. Yeah. Yeah. They are phrases people use to mean never, or they're events that will never happen. You should have come in after just three clues. Quite right. Like me saying, oh, I'm exhausted after that jog. Things that will <laughs> never happen. St. Geoffrey's Day, well, of course, there was no St. Geoffrey. What about on the Greek calends? Because it's Roman, is it? Or... Mm. Exactly. It's the mm. Roman calendar, the reign of Queen Dick and Wendover and Calais meet synonyms for never. Back to you, cat lovers. Uh, horned viper, please. OK, you're going to be seeing some pictures. What is the connection between them? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, strong safety and I, I think safety right. might be the answer. Do you, right. do you want to gamble? Yeah. Are you happy to gamble? Go ahead. Safety. I like your gambling style. Coming in <laughs> after two clues, you get three points. Ooh. The connection is safety. Tell me about the first picture. Uh, the first picture is, uh, is a defensive lineup for an American football game. The two positions that are ringed are the strong safety and the free safety. Safety positions in American football. And a safety lamp, of course. Safety what lamp. else are we seeing? So we're seeing a safety, safety curtain. curtain. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Harold Lloyd's film, Safety First. A safety, safety last. last. Safety last, in fact. Yes. Absolutely right. Safety is the connection. Very well done to you. Good buzzing. Corpuscles. We have the eye of Horus, please. You certainly can. What is the connection here? Time starts now. The green knight. Going. Going the green knight. Going the green knight. Next. Going the green knight. Going the green knight. The green knight. Next. The green knight. The green knight. The green The green knight. The green The green knight. The green knight. The green knight. The green knight. The green The green knight. 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 Scarecrow. There's, no, there's no scarecrow in there. Uh, Three seconds. Yes. Are they all played by the same actor? And which actor do you think plays the electric toothbrush? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> not. It's well played for voiceovers. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I think Matt Damon's quite a bland actor. He could probably play an electric <laughs> toothbrush, but officially not the answer. So I'm coming over to the cat lovers for a possible bonus point. We think they can all change their heads. That's what it is. Oh. They have detachable heads. The Green Knight, of course, when he'd been beheaded by Gawain, just picked up his head and walked away with it. Electric toothbrush, you can change the heads. Crichton in Red Dwarf has how many spare heads? Three. Three spare heads and Wurzel Gummidge. I always thought that was rather hideous as a child. In the books, of the Wurzel Gummidge books that he put different heads on. Mm. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like books about heads coming off. <laughs> Very well done, though, for the bonus point. And it's back to you for the last question. The two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Hey, Bailey. That's somebody's real name. Uh, so Next, please. 
changed as quickly as a character yes. in the Henrys. Yes, yes. Yeah, as well. she... I haven't got anything between the two. Uh, uh, well, Mistress Quickly uh, is a great um, malapropist. Is she? Okay. okay. Uh, next, please. Next, please. Ten seconds. They're, they're all uh, innkeepers. Yes. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hand this over to my colleague, Mr. Johnson. I think they're all innkeepers. They are literary innkeepers and publicans. Where from? I only know the two, I'm afraid. Mistress Quickly is the mistress of the, or landlady of the Boar's Head at East Cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, Barleyman Butterbird, Prancing Pony, Pony at Bree. Um, oh, well, the is uh, Les Mis, isn't it? Uh, ah, yeah, the Thénardier yeah. couple is from Les Miserables. And Mistress oh. Quickly from, of course, the Henry plays. And which yeah. other play? Which other uh, Shakespeare play? Mary Wives of Windsor. Mary Wives of Windsor. Yeah. Harry Bailey, you don't know? Do you know Harry it Bailey? He's ringing a bell. Um... He's at the Tabard in Southwark. Does that help? Oh, my hat. The oh. Canterbury Tales. The Canterbury oh. Tales. Oh. Oh. Harry oh. Bailey is the publican to whom the pilgrims tell their <laughs> tales. But very well done for the point. Meaning, at the end of round one, the corpuscles have got a point, but the cat lovers are ahead with six. On to round two, the sequence is round. This time the teams may see up to three clues because I want to know what would come fourth in the sequence. Corpuscles, which sequence is it to be? Uh, the Horned Viper, please. OK, the Horned Viper. You're going to be seeing pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next. Oh, yeah, so is that the fourth, the fourth of greens, third of Dems? Green's so, like fourth. I reckon it'd be one. Green, so, green. one blue. Oh, go with one blue. Yeah, one blue. A blue rosette with a number one in it. I'm afraid that's not the answer. So I'm going to have to bring up the third in the sequence and throw it to the cat lovers for a possible bonus. A red rosette with a number one. Well, you've got lucky because it is the red rosette with the number one. Do you know why? No. <laughs> What is a shame, Corpuscles, is that you had it with the first clue. It is rosettes in horse competitions and Jim Carners. It's four, <laughs> third, second and first, and the winner, the first place, gets a red rosette. And you had it and then it slithered out of your grasp. Yeah. Unlucky. And your turn, cat lovers, to choose a question. Uh, eye of horse, please. Eye of horse. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Good. Uh, new miracle sequence. Any, oh. Anything come to you at all? No, uh, Next, please. Right, so it's 20 going to be. Nothing's leaping out at me. Next, please. Three seconds. Um, yes. 26 and four. Not, I'm afraid, the answer. So there's a bonus chance for you now, corpuscles. 20, 10 and three? Ten and four. No. And I'm thinking perhaps none of you plays darts. Oh. You'd be right. <laughs> These are numbers on a dartboard. Oh. And what appears either side? Oh. Number 17 oh. comes between three and two, <laughs> 18 between one and four, <laughs> and 20, it's five oh. and one. Yeah. Those are the numbers on either side of number 20 on a dartboard. <coughs> cool, Puzzles, what would you like? Can we have lion, please? You certainly can. These are going to be pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next. Glasses. Glasses. Testicles. We think it might be watch. It is watch coming in after two clues. You get three points. Brilliant. Why would that be? Because it's the, the check you have to perform before leaving the house. Spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. Interesting. <laughs> it's the right sequence and the right answer. Not quite the reason we had in is, mind. Is, is it cruciform? 
It's for so, the sign of the cross. Uh, yes, I mean, possibly in the modern, lonely, godless world, it's just what are you checking for when you leave the house. But one thinks of it as a mnemonic for the signs of the cross and watch. I mean, I suppose one would normally expect to see a, a fob or a pocket watch there. We've just got a normal watch. Yeah. But never mind the reasons. You are absolutely right with your answer. Very well done. Back to you then, cat lovers. Two reads, please. Two reads. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh. Okay. Um, it's music. Um, time signature, key signature. You prepared to go for key signature? Yeah, I'm happy for that. Happy that? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we've got plenty of time. We've got another 20 yeah. seconds. We can think yeah. about this. Because if it's the way things are written down, yeah. then you have to start first, then you have Cliff. Yeah. Then the time, then the key. Is that right? You're a musician. I don't read music. <laughs> <laughs> go no, for it, Cliff. Key signature. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the third in the sequence to the corpuscles. And would you like to have a go for a bonus? The key signature's not before the time signature is. Never is. Well, that's the only thing left, I think, time signature. Why not? Time signature? I'm afraid the key signature is before the time oh, signature, if you're reading a piece of music. Lengthways, so time signature is the answer for a bonus. Well done. Can I come back to something you said earlier, corpuscles? Do you check your testicles before leaving the house? <laughs> check you've got everything, you know. I mean, to be honest, I'm impressed. <laughs> Men's health is terribly important. All men should check regularly. But every time you leave the house... Very well done. Anyway, that's a bonus point to you, and you get to choose a question. Uh, can we have twisted flax, please? You certainly can. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Delta secondary electrons. shells I think we need the next. Next. Oh, they're, they're, they're way too So they're getting gamma. Uh, alpha, alpha, he and you Beta. Alpha, he and you Alpha helium nuclei. A perfect answer. Alpha helium nuclei, exactly what I wanted to hear, and why? They're different types of radiation, so delta radiation, gamma radiation, beta radiation. Alpha radiation. That is it. Types of atomic radiation in order of? Increasing ionising strength. Increasing energy mm -hmm. is the order. So very well done. And back to the cat lovers. For the final question, water. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Oh, here's a bit dark. Okay. Yeah. Next, please. Mm -hmm. Abraham. Oh, he's on a duck. Um, oh, Phil and Wilbur, Abraham. Next, please. Father of Flight. Abraham is, uh, Abraham is um, Homer's father's name. Right. Abe Simpson. I wasn't oh, aware okay. that there was an author. Go for it. Oh, I'm just thinking of him. Three seconds. Bart. That is the answer I'm looking for. Well done. And why? Generations of Simpsons. That's what it is, from the sublime to the ridiculous. Radiation one minute, Simpsons the next, and these are <laughs> generations of the Simpsons going downwards. Well done, all of you. Rather a nail-biting round two. The scores now see the corpuscles with eight points and the cat lovers only just ahead with nine. Time now for the connecting wall. 16 clues all jumbled up that need to be sorted into four connected groups of four. And if the programme's not exciting enough, maybe you'd like to make your own quiz. Or do the walls online at the same time as the teams. They'll be going up on the website now. Cat lovers, it is your turn to go first this time, and you've got a choice. Lion or water? I think it has to be the lion for us. It has to be the <laughs> lion. You have got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Right, Poirot, detective. Um, Spade. Magnum is a detective. Queen. Queen. Marlowe is a detective. Right. Um, shall we start looking at detectives? Yes. Um, Queen? Yes, mm -hmm. Ellery Queen. Ellery Queen. Okay, yeah. I don't think uh, so. Poirot. Poirot, Magnum, Marlowe. Which was the one at the Spade, wasn't it? Spade. Right. Right, okay, so let's do it with that Poirot. Okay. You, you guys keep looking at the others. Right, not those. Um, yes. Guerrilla warfare. Yeah. Vinyl, can you have? That's right. 
Do you join Ham? Okay, we need another PI because I think I've gone through the moment. Right. Yeah. Live, live in partner. Um, but we've got Buzz, Woody, 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 Woody Herman. No, we've got, we've got Toy Story. Buzz, oh, Toy Story. Woody, Rex. Edge. No, Ooh. there's another one. Which is the other Ham. one? Ham. Ham. Right, okay, let's do it without Edge. Okay. Okay, let's do it without Ham. No, I'll try it without Ham. Let's do it without right. Woody. Let's do it without yeah. Buzz. Yeah. Right, okay. Right. okay. What are we doing on our PRs? I haven't... No, I haven't eliminated any. No, you haven't. Right. Halfway okay. through the time. Live in, live in Lover. Um, something gorilla. It, it, it's a homophone. It's also gorilla. Uh -huh. Are there any others? I think so. Pyro. Yeah, go, go ahead. No, Pyro. no, no sorry. Pyro. Pyro. Pyro has got to be come the on, we're on uh, I think. Unless it sounds like something else. Pyro doesn't come up with anything. Really. No, it okay, doesn't. Let's, let's try some more PIs. We need to think along those lines too. Have we not done those yet? Okay. Yeah, so got the... Spade and Gorilla sound like sound. other words. They do. Spade, yeah, Gorilla. Right. Alamy? Alamy? I don't know. It doesn't mean anything. Let's give it a try right. because you know, we might get time. Right. Corpus doesn't mean anything to me. No. Oh, I need another PI. I've got 30 yeah. seconds. What's Buzz if it's not Buzz Lightyear? Come on. Um, Come on, guys. Give me some thoughts. Give me some thoughts. Um, it's a sound that uh, um, animals make. Yes, yes. Uh, um, it's a rumor. Let's make it yes. Let's just hit things at random and see if we yes. get any. Ten seconds now. Corbis, uh, uh, Corbis, 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 Corbis. Marlow is a place. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We'll get these. Yeah. Yeah. And you're out of time, yeah. and the wall has frozen. Yeah. Never mind. Frustrating, but you did get a group, so a point for that, and I'll give you another point if you can tell me the connection. Etch, Ham, Rex, Woody. They are all characters in Toy Story. That is correct. And you can get other connecting points for the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. So what about that one? Viral, Buzz, Livin, Gorilla. They are all different types of campaign. I'll take it, types of marketing. Oh, yeah. Types of marketing yeah. campaign. You suddenly saw it there. It, suddenly came to me. Mm. it yes. was one Gorilla you hadn't spotted Gorilla while you were doing it. Away. That's it, guerrilla marketing. And the next oh, one Corbis, Getty, Magnum, Alamy. Museums? Is this Museum Yeah, it could be. Well, I've got to go with something. Yeah. Museums. You just don't know this one, I think. No. They're picture agencies, ah. photo agencies. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. Well, I reckon there's yeah. some somewhere, but I wasn't yeah. able to okay. know. Okay, that's yeah. what it is. And the last group Marlow, Poirot, Spade, Queen. I think we've done fictional course before. We've done They're fictional, fictional private detectives. detectives. They are detectives. detectives. Now, I'm afraid what you did was every time you went for that group, you mm. put Magnum in there. Yep. <sighs> Nevertheless, you do get a point for the group you found and three more connecting points. That is a total of four points. Time to bring back the corpuscles, remove the old connecting wall, put in a new one and throw it at them. Corpuscles, it's the water wall that remains for you. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Treaty of Versailles, uh, Clement Attlee, mm -hmm. uh, Eden Attlee, who else have we got? Clay, Clay. Anyone else? Morrison, Buck, Butler. Oh, gosh. Okay, we've got Rab, Butler. Okay, so we've got those right. Uh, gardens, key key gardens, key gardens, key gardens, key gardens, gardens. Uh, Monet, Gardens, Gardens, Versailles, Versailles. Gardens, Versailles. Gardens, Versailles. And what other sort of. Uh, uh, yeah, remember, it's three strikes and oh, you're out. Pass the, two bus, groups. pass the bus and pass the torch. Yeah. Um, so, pass the parcel. Yeah. So, what else have we got? Hat, 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 Lessing, Morrison, and Jelinek. Are they Lessing? What's Lessing? What's Jelinek? Do you have any ideas on Jelinek? Oh, um, Morrison, uh, is it, are we sure this is gardens rather than something? That's gardens. Pictures. That's gardens. Okay. Well, okay. remember, it's it says a garden. Yeah, probably. Well, Famous. Should we stick? Yeah. Okay. So if we said it was past the parcel, past the, parcel, past the baton. Past so we're written torch. So, so what's hat hat Martin Jones? Are they? Is there a word? Like, is there a word? Less hint? small jelly. Line at no line. Hat are they? Like, uh, Van, I mean, Morrison the singer, Van Morrison, Van Less. Are they Van? Yeah, Van, Van Morrison, Van so. Hat, yeah. Van Jelly. Go for that. You're about halfway through the time. Yeah, yeah. quite happy with that. Oh, oh, yeah. that? Okay, Two right. so more what, attempts what, what now. Can we pass? You can pass the hat as like a collection. Yes. Yeah. So Van. Is there a Van Buck? Is there van, a... van Batten? Van Torch? Van Van Buck was the most likely Van if that okay. is a Van. But so, so Parcel. 
Black and torch. Like that? Yeah. That's yeah. it. You've okay. solved the wall. That's immediate four points. You'll be looking now at the connections. First group, Clegg, Eden, Butler, Attlee. So the, the, the leaders, leaders of parties. I need an answer. Leaders of parties? Now, they are not all leaders of parties. I can't take it because they are very specifically not all that. They are, in fact, deputy prime ministers. Oh. Uh, so, Ram Butler was okay. Harold Macmillan's deputy, not the leader of the party. Next group, Babylon, Q, Monet, Versailles. And are there Monet Gardens? Well, I can't think of yeah, the best connection. Gardens. I think they're all gardens. They're famous gardens. Simple as that. Next one, hat, torch, parcel, baton. Things that you can pass all of. That's it. Things that you can pass. And the last group. Lessing, Morrison, Buck, Jelinek. Are they, are they the doors? Are they the surnames of the doors? They are not. <laughs> not the surnames of the doors. These are women who have won the Nobel Prize Tony for Morrison Literature. See, it's yeah. Doris Lessing, Toni Morrison, Pearl Buck and Elfrida Jelinek, women who've won the Nobel Prize for Literature. But you do get four points for solving the wall and two more points for the connections. That is a total of six points. Let's see what that does to the scores going into round four. The cat lovers have got 13 points, but the core puzzles are now ahead with 14. So it's all change. And if you're greedy for more walls, you will find them on our website where you can even make your own. But we're going to play the missing vowels round where the well-known names, phrases or sayings have had the vowels removed, the consonants re-spaced. Teams, I want to know what are those disguised clues. The first group are all... Sausages. Corpuscles. Chipolata. Correct. Cat lovers. Mortadella. Correct. Cat lovers. Bologna. Correct. Cat lovers. Liverwurst. Correct. Next category, films with colours in the title. Cat lovers. Deep Blue Sea. Correct. Lovers. The Purple Rose of Cairo. Correct. Core puzzles. Clockwork Orange. I'm a, sorry? Cl a Clockwork Orange. I'm afraid I didn't hear the A the first time. I have to deduct a point. And there's a possible bonus for the cat lovers. A Clockwork Orange. That is the answer. Next clue. Core puzzles. Soylent Green. Correct. Next category. Countries that have gained independence since 1990. Core puzzles. South Sudan. Correct. Core puzzles. Eritrea. Correct. Cat lovers. Romania. I'm afraid you lose a point possible bonus core puzzles. That's too long. It's Armenia. Next clue. Well, that bell means it's the end of the quiz. The last one was East Timor. What a nail-biting round four. Losing points, winning points, looking at the final scores. The core puzzles finish on 17 points, but the cat lovers win with 18. <laughs> Very well done. That means we'll be seeing you again, cat lovers, as you try to win through to the semi-final. And of course, as per our new format, we'll be seeing you again, core puzzles, as you try to win through to the semi-final. <laughs> Brilliant, though, because two very equally weighted teams. I'm glad that no one's going home. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you for watching. Thank you, too, to the people who normally plan the timetables for Network Southeast for their help in devising our new format. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>